Okay guys, so we got the car washed over here. Everything's nice and clean. So for this process, which is pretty crucial if you ask me, we're going to be clay barring the paint. We're going to use the quick detailer to spray the area we're working on. Make it uh, slippery and lubricated for the clay bar to actually just glide along the paint. This is going to remove a lot of crap that's on the paint. See, if I move my finger across the paint, you can hear sandpaper kind of sound. So the clay bar removes all that dirt debris. So then later when we're polishing and compounding, it's a lot easier. All right guys, we just finished clay barring the hood. This is the clay bar so far. You can see all the dirt and contamination it has removed so far. The car hasn't been clay barred for about five years. It's been washed fairly regularly, but uh, yeah, definitely didn't have a clay bar process for a long time. So I'm sure this is gonna be filthy once we do the whole car. It is so hot that this clay bar is just melting in my hands, guys. It is about 90 degrees, 90 plus today. So you can go up and down motions, or you can go side to side, try to avoid the swirls. We're gonna bend the clay again, compress it, press it again, make a nice brick out of it, and let's continue. Now the majority of the contaminants will be on the top layers of the car, such as the hood trunk and the roof. So that's where I paid most of my attention. There you go. Now these surfaces are ready for the first stage of polish. Even drying this car with this towel, I can tell how smooth this towel is gliding against the paint compared to before where I had so much resistance from the paint. Alright guys, so we are going to be using the Meguiar's Ultimate Setup. So the first product is the Ultimate Compound. This will get most of the abrasives, the swirl marks out of the paint. We're going to do this all by hand. Most of you guys are probably working by hand with the applicator pad. Once we're going to do the compound we're going to finish up with the polish this is less abrasive it's going to take some of the swirls out that we put in the fine, very fine swirls that we put in from the compound so the polish is going to remove all those and after this for the most part the paint should look much better than it currently does and to seal in the finish make sure it's good for at least a couple months we're going to use the liquid wax again ultimate so Meguiar's has been very good. These products have been very easy to use. I highly recommend Meguiar's for any kind of application for your vehicle. You guys got to work in small sections because it is about 90 degrees today and if it does dry up on you, it's really hard to remove it. Alright, that was the first general pass. We're going to do another pass right now. I'm going to work in smaller sections. All right, guys, we did two passes with the first ultimate compound step. 
no reason to do more it's not there's no deep scratches in here it's just light swirl marks so now let's get the polish we're probably gonna run around two coats with this as well and again work with small portions at a time this thing is drying up fairly quick here so like I said earlier this step is very fine compared to the compound it is pretty much micro polishing right now preparing it for wax so any minor swirl marks that are left in the paint this should be able to remove majority of them let's wipe it off now for those of you using any DAs or orbital buffers you guys are lucky because my hand is already starting to fall off and this is just my third coat it does take a little longer but you can be as successful if you just take your time day two What's up you guys five in the morning very early monday morning today is gonna be a heat wave it's supposed to be around 95 degrees and it already feels like it's around 80 so the goal is before the sun comes out start to do the third step which would be the polish actually i'm gonna stop doing it by hand application I'm gonna use an orbital buffer as I came up with a way to do it without pads just microfiber towels on the orbital buffer so that's gonna save us a lot of time so we're gonna polish clean that up we are going to wax and then she is done we alright guys it is time for the Meguiar's ultimate polish right now this is our orbital buffer and doing this by hand is extremely is an extremely long process so we took an orbital buffer last minute I didn't have any pads so what I did I just took a microfiber towel put it on here put some zip ties around it and it works great as you can see so that's the process we will be using for the majority of the car now um, small areas such as the window trim and such we will probably still use the foam applicator pad but this is going to help speed up the process on all the flat surfaces Let's get started. That's the problem with the buffer that it catches itself sometimes. But that's it, problem fixed.
all right guys so the whole front end is done I got the front uh, bumper fenders hood as well as the headlights uh, waxed up already I'm surprised how well the polish actually worked on the headlight to restore it and bring out the shine but this is currently its state we still have to finish up the rear side over here we also have to do the hood and then we're gonna move the car a little bit and we still got to do both rear doors and quarter panel on this side then it will be good to go I might wash it give it a quick wash after there's already a lot of dust on the car today is a very windy day um, and the window is, is just looking terrible because I'm just setting my uh, my applicator pad on the window when I'm buffing it off so as you can see the window has a lot of compound on it polished compound so we're almost done it's been a really long process can't wait to finish Alright guys, I'm just going to show you after polishing, after compounding, polishing, waxing, I mean this thing is so smooth it just glides. I remember how this paint was when it was new and this is what it reminds me of. I mean, even if I just put this uh, container on the paint, look at it, it won't even stay. That's how slippery the surface is. It's just so slick, glass-like, mirror-like, wet looking. It is it is crazy. It is crazy. It is astonishing. Two hours later. guys I hope you like the little montage I just made um, so right now that we're in the car the car looks real fresh let's just go ahead and talk about the whole process okay so we use the ultimate kit by Meguiar's three products the compound which is the pretty much the roughest it's gonna scuff up the paint or the clear coat the most the little polish is less a uh, little bit more fine it's gonna take out the swirl marks that 
the compound makes and then you wax that up and you get a great shine okay now all these products are like entry level these are like over the counter this isn't professional great stuff so these aren't hard abrasive products okay so anybody can use them whether you're doing it with an applicator pad by hand or if you're doing an orbital buffer okay now you won't take all your scratches out or probably not even 60 70 percent of your scratches okay those this will probably take out like 30 to 40 percent of the small scratches pretty much if you want a real polish a real detail where they eliminate all your scratches this has to go to a shop this is where they got the gauges where they read your clear coat how much thickness how much depth there is to it so they can use a cunning compound that's applicable okay because if you use too harsh of a rubbing compound you're gonna eat up most of the clear coat regardless this whole process took me roughly about I'm just gonna run a red light here regardless this whole process roughly took me about 10 to 12 hours I did it in two days I'm glad I had the two days off but really it was bad timing the weather was really hot it was about 95 degrees both days first day when it was really hot and I used the rubbing compound it was such a pain in the butt to remove it once we uh, compounded the, the paint I think it was just too hot the paint was too hot the metal everything was drying up instantly okay so the compounding process on my end probably didn't work out as well as I wanted it to and again the compounding I did by hand um, the next day when I figured out this is taking too long my arms are already killing me that's when I came up with the ghetto orbital buffer with the microfiber towel on it with zip ties now that pretty much saved me otherwise I would have to add like three more hours to this whole detailed job so and then the wax the last application the wax I applied that by hand as well I mean since the paint was already butter smooth at that point the wax came on and off beautifully easy as pie also the second day I got up real early in the morning five o'clock so I made sure that the temperature was still cooler around 80 85 degrees before I started messing around with all that so altogether I'm real happy this is something you should probably do to your car once every two to three years you know keep everything clean make sure that you get the contaminants off from the paint you know just just a it's a good measure to do if you're doing it by yourself or every two three years if you want take it to a professional shop have them eliminate whatever scratches you have on there and you'll be done I actually like doing this myself it's a little learning process as well and uh, yeah there we go hope you guys like it hope you guys learned something uh, let me know what products you guys use or what works for you thank you for watching just please subscribe all right guys we are at the forest preserve right now there's some deer in our peripheral not sure if you guys can see them but we will try to run and uh, pretend we're just gonna pretend we're one of them and uh, see how it goes Got the, we got the whip in the background, nice and clean. We got about four deers here. I think they started to recognize me, but uh, clearly they're not afraid of me. I don't want to scare them, but I do want to get a little closer. Maybe if I take some grass, because it looks like they're eating grass, right? Let's take some grass and see if they want some. But it likes me man well anyway guys that does it for this video stay tuned for future videos peace